God. Um, and a lot of times we, we grow in community because we grow in God. And it's um, like this past year when we actually had a salvation in our group. I know I wasn't there for that, but even though I was at home, we all became closer because of that. We were all rejoicing because of that. And it's just really cool seeing um, just God move in each, each one of our lives in a different way. And it's just cool seeing how it fits all together. Um, it's just a really encouraging time full of um, fellowship. And we always gain more wisdom about who God is and what God's like. And it's just a whole lot of fun. All right, so the community at RYM is pretty incredible. Basically, all of these different churches from around the East Coast get together just to worship God. And every, it, it just feels like one huge family. I mean, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ there. And especially in your own church group, just to learn and grow together and learn more about each other is awesome. I close my heart to that did it, um, that'll stick with me a lot is we learned in the first elective class that I took about um, growing in Christ and not being discouraged and stuff like that. And it was an illustration and he said that we were in, it was like a river of grace. And so like you're tubing down the river. And so you're gonna end up at the end of the river because of the current and you're going that way and you may go through your ups and downs in your walk with Christ, but not to get discouraged because you know that God's grace, you're part of God's grace, and He's bringing you to where He wants you to go through your second day. I had an elective class called Longing for Hope in a Broken World, Gospel Hope for Weary Souls. And the teacher talks about how God's grip on us never changes. No matter how much sin we're living in, and no matter how much shame we have in our life, God still has a firm grip on us, and He loves us no matter what, and He comes to us no matter what. And I think that is something that has stuck with me and will encourage me throughout my life. Thy mercy, my God, is a theme of my song, the joy of my heart and the boast of my tongue. Thy free grace alone from the first to the last hath won my affection. I didn't think it was going to rain at RYM, so you know, to be safe, I just packed a hoodie, one hoodie. And we get there and it's typical Florida weather, you know, so it's really hot and we're all drinking a ton of water each day on Monday and Tuesday. We wake up on Wednesday and it's a monsoon, so basically we had to go about our normal activities which involved swimming and basketball and then walking to and from classes in the freezing cold windy rain. Mega Rec is just like where every youth group there at RYM, they, they, it'd be like your church would be a team. And so then the teams compete against each other and play different games against each other and try to see who gets the most points and then who wins Mega Rec overall and you get t-shirts and it's really cool. So in Mega Rec, we each had a different station. And so everybody was holding this banana and they went through all these nasty things with them. Like it got in the salt water and in the sand. It was just disgusting. And so my job as a last station was I had to be buried in sand and I had to have the banana shoved down my throat and I had to swallow it. And that might not sound hard, but that was the most disgusting thing I've ever done. I couldn't see because it was raining and there was sand in my face. And so all I hear is Naomi's voice going, one more bite, one more bite, as they're shoving bananas into my mouth and it tastes nasty. Like it tastes like sand and salt water and like 
mushed up banana and it was horrible. And so finally when we finished, I ran to the ocean and I got a water bottle and I started spitting in the ocean because it was just so gross. Like that was the nastiest thing I've ever done. I've gotten out of my experiences at RYN these last two years is that I'm not going at this life alone. I mean, no matter, I, let's put it this way, I am lower than the dust that is tread on by millions every single day. My life means absolutely nothing when I'm living for myself, by myself. One thing that Mr. Boyd said in reference to the main speaker's lesson was he talked about how if all of our thoughts were on a projected screen, then anybody you saw it would immediately walk away and reject us because our thoughts are so broken and so horrible. But then he talks about how God loves us despite that, and that just was really important to me. I think one thing God really showed me at this year's RYM was just how important it is to just, you know, find your peace and identity in Him as opposed to just worldly things. And it's kind of, it goes back to the uh, story of the woman at the well and how Jesus is the water that when you drink it, you'll never ever get thirsty again. All that feeds my busy pride, cast it evermore aside. Bid my will to thine submit Lay me humbly at thy feet Make me like a little child Of my strength and wisdom spoiled Seeing only in thy light Walking only in thy mind